Hi guys, today is September 21, 2020 and uh, futures pointing to an ugly open as uh, futures are pointing to uh, about a 600 point drop at the open. So not a good open but uh, <clears throat> over the weekend there was some news uh, that uh, Ruth Ginsburg uh, as a Supreme Court uh, Justice uh, Judge died and um, uh, actually President Trump and uh, his White House administration said they are moving quickly to fill uh, her seat and uh, that cre creates another controversy, between, uh, controversy before the presidential elections. So a lot of uncertainty out there and uh, people are selling the stocks that they were buying uh, before that uh, ran up too much. Um, pretty much uh, tech stocks uh, right now and uh, this could create a good buying opportunity uh, actually in my opinion so uh, we'll see what happens but uh, uh, so far not so good uh, uh, for the open okay so let's jump to SPY as uh, ETF or S&P 500 okay so SPY is um, pretty much in the uh, make or break moment uh, for SPY and uh, actually the shares uh, and the shares uh, the uh, this ETF is going uh, lower uh, recently and uh, I think uh, it it should uh, if it hits uh, if it breaks through the 325 uh, dollar level uh, this could go even lower than that so uh, I would be very careful right now at uh, buying stocks or uh, being on the market right now because uh, it's a dangerous territory enhanced uh, I mean uh, increased volatility before the election and uh, usually September is a bad month uh, for the stock market okay so let's uh, jump to corporate news let's start with uh, uh, United Steel Okay, so, uh, United Steel shares uh, popped in the uh, last couple of days after a company reported smaller than expected uh, loss and the uh, CEO said that the uh, market conditions improving through July and June and uh, that uh, improvement accelerated through August and September. So in general, um, I think it's uh, warranted a uh, small position in the X in my opinion because uh, I mean shares are still trading in the pretty low range and uh, I think it's uh, an interesting opportunity to get into the, into the stock. Okay, you. Okay, Unity Software. Unity Software is a video game maker, uh, video game software developer company. They uh, build the platform uh, for software developers to create games. So they had an IPO priced at $52 uh, on Friday, and uh, I believe on Friday, yes, and uh, was uh, 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 trading around $70. And uh, right now it's opening a little bit lower, and but the, I think it's a it's pretty good uh, uh, company, uh, in my opinion. If it drops to like low 60s, it would be an interesting buy, in my opinion. Uh, the, the shares did not, did not go up uh, that much, okay? Tesla. Okay, so Tesla shares are trading higher, uh, a little bit higher this morning before the uh, battery day tomorrow and uh, analyst uh, day also tomorrow. And uh, a lot of expectations uh, for uh, Tesla's uh, battery day, highly anticipated. And uh, also Elon Musk reportedly uh, told employees that uh, they have a chance at record quarterly week vehicle delivery. And uh, Morgan Stanley said the event, uh, this event, uh, battery uh, um, battery day uh, could be a narrative uh, changing uh, uh, for the company. So, um, very interesting um, uh, story for Tesla. But um, interestingly, interestingly uh, usually uh, when the news comes out, the stock tanks. You know, uh, not Tesla, but in general. So uh, usually, when there are so many expectations, so many people uh, want to get in into the stock because they think that uh, they will report something earth-shattering and then uh, being disappointed, the stock after that tanks. So I will be careful at uh, buying Tesla before this event, uh, battery event uh, tomorrow, um, because the stock may actually tank. Even though on the chart, on the chart, it looks pretty good to me. Uh, you know, so the magnet may cross here, and uh, actually the shares may go higher. But who knows? Uh, I will be actually very careful uh, before uh, uh, this event tomorrow. It was Tesla. Okay, beyond meat. 
So uh, shares of Beyond Media are trading lower and uh, they uh, fell more than 5% on Friday after JP Morgan downgraded to uh, the stock to underweight from neutral due to sluggish fundamentals and stock being ahead of itself. Actually, I, I, I kind of disagree with the JP Morgan on this one. Uh, I think uh, Beyond Meat is a disruptor and uh, I think the shares may go higher and this could be useful as a buying opportunity right now, this uh, sell-off. Okay, SPWR. Uh, Sun Power. Okay, Sun Power uh, actually uh, we're trading a little bit uh, higher on Friday, but it's opening lower today as everything is opening lower today. Uh, but on Friday, uh, Morgan Stanley upgraded the stock to equal weight from underweight, citing margin expansion and higher sto storage penetration. So, uh, generally, I like uh, solar companies, it's a hedge. Uh, uh, so it shows against the election. I mean, if uh, Joe Biden wins uh, and, and Democrats wins, uh, usually solar companies are the ones that benefit from uh, Democrats being in uh, dominating House, Senate or uh, presidential election. So uh, SPWR, in my opinion, is a buy here. OK, uh, play. David Busters. Uh, David Busters is uh, <laughs> it's been uh, quite a roller coaster ride uh, recently after a company a couple of days ago mentioned that uh, they may uh, declare bankruptcy if some of the lenders uh, don't extend their uh, credit. Uh, pretty much and uh, shares tanked immediately after that announcement but uh, Raymond James uh, came out and upgraded the stock to outperform from underperform saying its recent sell-off uh, was overdone and it's uh, overreaction uh, by the investors uh, but it's just too much drama for me uh, to the shoes I mean I sold my shares at like around $16 um, I believe on Friday and uh, I actually feel good about this uh, because uh, too much drama, but uh, they said about the bankruptcy the last quarter, the same thing that they may declare bankruptcy if the lenders uh, don't behave, uh, but uh, I don't know, this threatening tactics by Dave and Busters and uh, just doesn't sit well with me, so uh, I would be, uh, I don't want to hold shares of Dave and Busters, uh, so I would be a seller. Okay, Nicola. Okay, Nikola uh, is being uh, hammered this morning uh, after news that uh, founder and executive chairman Trevor Milton is stepping down. So that's uh, pretty bad news for uh, Nikola because uh, Trevor Mil Milton was an outspoken chairman for Nikola and, uh, and, and a founder and everybody was looking up to him. But uh, in general, uh, shares uh, dropping 30% just on that news doesn't make sense to me, actually. So I would think that uh, in this range, like $24 range, it uh, would be an interesting buy to me. You know, if it drops to below $24, that would be a strong buy to me. So just this strong but spec buy. So um, be careful with that. So a small position is warranted here for, uh, you know, to me. CPRI. Capri Holdings. So Capri Holdings is a, a multinational fashion holding company founded by Michael Kors and was upgraded to overweight from underweight uh, from equal weight by Morgan Stanley and uh, Capri Holdings is a pretty good uh, stock to get in to get in right now. It's, uh, right now it's trading above 200 day moving average and uh, I think if the shares uh, could drop, I mean, uh, closer to twenty dollars. That's a fantastic buy to me, and because because I think the shares may go much higher than that. CPRI, okay, uh, shares of uh, some uh, uh, cruise line companies are trading uh, uh, volatile uh, right now. After uh, RCL and CLH and CCL, pretty much uh, they all submitted. Uh, cruise industry submitted its, uh, proposals for heightened health protocols to CDC. And, uh, you know, uh, shares uh, dropping right now for cruise companies, but uh, in general, they ran up a lot, especially like RCL and, uh, and uh, CCL. Uh, I mean, CCL is dropping uh, this morning to 14 and a half. I mean, it ran a little bit, but uh, still trading in the same range as it was trading before. I will skip those companies. I mean, I don't like the cruise line industry in general because, uh, first of all, they don't get uh, help from the uh, the the package uh, that uh, helped the airline uh, industry and uh, from the Congress. And uh, so basically, these uh, cruise lines... Um, I mean, they're heavily dependent on the vaccine, pretty much on the, on the vaccine and uh, on health protocols, and uh, it just doesn't 
I just don't like that uh, so many regulations uh, on this industry and they don't help much. They don't get much help. Okay, so Oracle. Oracle shares are trading higher after uh, uh, it was reported that Oracle will take 12.5% in TikTok US. And uh, on a separate note, uh, Walmart and WMMT will take 7.5% uh, 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 stake in uh, TikTok US. Actually, uh, and uh, these companies will uh, own uh, a lot of uh, uh, TikTok, uh, TikTok and uh, but in general, I mean, it's like uh, in my calculation, it's about 20% of TikTok and uh, looks to me that ByteDance will own 80% of that. So that kind of contradicts the previous statements by the President Trump, uh, the, who was saying that uh, TikTok will be uh, pretty much owned by the American business. Um, doesn't look like that because uh, Oracle will have an Oracle and uh, Walmart will have a combined 20% stake. I don't know, so I have to look into this further. But in general, um, Oracle um, uh, is trading in the range that I would be careful to buy, like 62 and a half dollar range. Uh, I would like Oracle to come down, uh, shares to come down a little bit before I buy it, but Walmart. Walmart, I really like actually. Uh, Walmart is trading at uh, around one hundred thirty-six dollars pre-market, and all, they also uh, said that they're starting a private label closing line. So I like Walmart a lot, actually, and uh, I will be a buyer of Walmart. Okay, Snow. Okay, Snowflake. Um, uh, uh, actually, uh, Summit Insights Group uh, began coverage of the cloud company with the sell rating. Um, uh, citing that the stock the most expensive name on, in all tech. So, I mean, obviously the snow is just trading at extreme valuation at very high. And uh, I mean, the IPO came out at $120 right now. It's trading even after the drop pre-market at, at uh, $224, which is too high to me. I mean, it has to come down. Uh, I mean, if it's uh, trading around $150, $170 in that range, it's uh, to me, it's understandable. But uh, $224, that's crazy to me. Okay. TPR Tapestry. Okay, so Tapestry was upgraded uh, to overweight from neutral at uh, five percent layer, which uh, cited the luxury goods uh, retailer cost savings initiatives. So Tapestry is, uh, I, I think, is in a pretty good position. The stock looks good to me at this level, so I would uh, use this sell off as a buying opportunity for Tapestry. Okay, CM um, CSA. Comcast. Uh, so Comcast uh, reached a deal with Roku that will add companies uh, Peacock st streaming service and um, keep other NBC content on the Roku platform. So uh, in general, uh, it's unusual news for uh, Comcast, but a really good news for Roku. And uh, Roku shares are trading higher, I believe, uh, pre-market. And uh, I think it uh, could be an interesting buy, a spec buy, but interesting buy for Roku for me. Okay, Innovia Pharmaceuticals. So Innovia shares are trading uh, a little bit higher, and uh, shares were trading higher on Friday as trades uh, as traders uh, circulated an article from Kansas City KSHB 41 channel that reported that Center's uh, Center of Pharmaceutical Research uh, is moving forward with Innovia INO 48 uh, vaccine trials. So Innovia shares are trading higher, but I would like it to come down a little bit before I buy it. Uh, because uh, the, the Innovia uh, jumped too much, in my opinion, a little bit. So before I buy it, the, before I establish a new position, I would like shares to come down at least into a $15 area. And uh, Moderna, Moderna is trading a little bit lower, but uh, on Friday they said that uh, they are ready to produce 20 million doses of its experimental vaccine by year end. Okay, that's it, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, click the like button, and I'll see you Thursday.